everyone. We are talking about your mic and your headset today. So when you have your mic, first things first, we're going to talk about how to put in the headset, the mic, into the actual mic pack. This is super important because if it's done wrong, it can damage both super expensive equipment. You want to be very, very, very careful with these as you're setting up your mic for your class. So I don't know if you can see, but there's little prongs inside of your mic pack. Also, little holes in your mic that are gonna go right into it. So all you need to do is line them up so they go together. Never force it. If you feel like you're forcing it, probably are. It's probably the wrong direction. With these mics, the button on the headset is always gonna be facing forward. So you just push it in. Just kidding, it's always gonna be facing back. So do the opposite. <laughs> it's always gonna be facing back. You just drop it in, and again, you'll feel it kind of click super easily. I'll be able to push down. It's not gonna resist. That's actually how I knew it was the wrong direction because when I tried to put it in this way, immediately I could tell there's no space for it to go, okay? So a little button will always be facing the back of your mic back. Great, boom, done. From here, you have your on-off switch at the top. Towards the circle means it's off. When you flip it on, you'll see the green light pop on. But if it's ever low battery, you'll see it go red, in which case you want to swap it out for another pack, okay? For now, I'm going to keep it off. To put it on, left-hand side of your face is where the mic is actually going to come down. So you just open it up and over. It's going to rest like this. Then place it underneath. If you have hair, most of you probably will have hair, either underneath your ponytail, your collar clip, whatever it is. You want it underneath rather than having it sit on top, okay? So again, this is coming down the left-hand side of my face. Natural setup for this. I want it to come straight down in front of my mouth. I'm not gonna have it on my lips like I'm eating the mic. So not too close, but also not too far away. So let's see how this sounds. If it's a little bit too far away, it's gonna sound a little bit too hollow. We want it closer, yes? If I pull it too close and it's directly on my mouth, too close. You're also going to hear a lot more of my breathing, which nobody really wants to hear, let's be honest. They want to hear the music and they want to hear your instructions, not your breathing. So just a little bit in front of your mouth is the sweet spot where you want it. As far as the clip, highly recommend if you have a shirt or a sweatshirt, threading the mic through your shirt, dropping it through, and then you can either clip it on top of your pants and a pocket on your pants if you have them. This way, when you're walking around with your class in correcting form, the wire isn't going to get stuck on the handlebars and accidentally pull you back and pull your mic apart. Okay, so this way the wire is protected, it's out of the way, you have your mic, you can easily switch it on and off if you need to do hands-on corrections and be more personal with people, and that's how you're going to do it. When you are done with class, you'll return your headset to your dock so it can charge, it's super important. Definitely want to make sure there's at least one mic pack that's always charged and ready to go for you and the person coming in to teach after you. And that's how you set it up.